Hello, welcome to MCQ Sets. I'm with a new article today, Keyboard Shortcuts for Efficient Browsing. Learning some keyboard shortcuts can make your browsing efficient and makes your surfing experience comfortable. Here I present a few very useful keyboard shortcuts that lets you perform tasks quickly and easily. To the right side, here you can see my website displayed. MCQ Sets is being opened right now. The first keyboard shortcut we are going to talk about is the space bar. Have you ever used the space bar to, uh, in your browsing experience? Like most of the time you use your uh, mouse wheel to scroll the pages up and down. But um, more efficiently, you can press, just press the space bar. Hit the space bar, it will come to the next page. And hit it again. So this way you can scroll down your web page by pressing space bar. Similarly, the opposite is shift and space. Hold shift and press space key to scroll it upwards. This is one of the uh, very useful keyboard shortcut, isn't it? Similarly, the next keyboard shortcut we are going to talk about is the control shift and T. Sometimes, like uh, uh, I happen to close this uh, tab accidentally. I closed the website. There was something else I had to accomplish. If that's the situation, then you can press control shift and T on your keyboard. This will open up the tab on the website that you had closed recently. So this is another shortcut key. And I hope you know that the control T is a shortcut key to open a new tab. As many tabs as you need, just press control and T. It will open up a new tab. Uh, Onlinecover.com. And let me close the other unnecessary tabs. And I closed it for some reason. And while doing something in this website, I happen to remember that I need a website again. Then what can I do? Control, Shift, and T. This will open up your recently closed tab in Chrome, and it also works in Firefox. Well, the third one, the third keyboard shortcut you can use is Control, Shift, and N. You hold Control, hold Shift, and press N. This will open up the browser in incognito mode. Yahoo Mail .com. The good thing about the incognito window or incognito mode is that the pages you view in incognito tabs won't stick around in your browser's history, cookies, cookies store, or source history after you have closed all of your incognito tabs. But however, any files you download or the bookmarks you create, they are kept safe. And But in this context, you need to remember that uh, this browsing incognito is not making yourself invisible. It doesn't hide your browsing from your employer, your internet service provider, or the websites you visit. Okay, that was the third shortcut key. Now let's go towards the fourth shortcut key. Let me close uh, a little bit there. And the fourth circuit key we are talking about is zooming in and out, the control plus key. Like sometimes the key, the characters are really large enough and you want to view it, making it a bit smaller. And then press control minus to reduce the zoom. This way you can zoom out the web page or control plus to zoom in to make the text larger and read it comfortably. For example, here in this, this text is a really very small one. You just press Ctrl and hold Ctrl and press plus. It will come front and last. So it's more comfortable to read now, isn't it? Okay, let me close it. And the fifth uh, shortcut key, or the fifth keyboard shortcut we are talking about is Ctrl and F, Ctrl F. Uh, well, sometimes you need to search something you know, for on the web page, and rather than skimming all the all through the web page, you can press and press Control F. It will pop up a small find dialog box where you can search for your required uh, word or phrase. For example, download. Let me find where the download word appears in the web page. As it says, there are seven instances out of thirteen. Uh, searching for this download now this is the eighth one and this is ninth one so this way you can jump through your uh, required word to find your find the, the position 
in document or find the word or phrase whatever you are searching there well we found this pdf download we can go there click it it will take you to the downloads page of mcq sets fine the next uh, shortcut key we are using the next shortcut key we are discussing is f2 when you are browsing something on the internet and if it is a option you need to open up uh, the files dialog box uh, for example let me go to the mail and compose i'm sending it to somebody well when attaching files you need to attach one of these files uh, like this one but you want to change the name one way is to press and press again on the file name and you can change uh, and you can rename this file but when you double click sometimes it's too quick and your browser will think you have selected the file or you want to open that file what would be the easier way just press f2 see it will take you to the to renaming the file uh, like uh, here f2 simple so just select the file and press f2 and start typing the new name of the file isn't it let me escape escape i don't need this anymore that was the use of uh, pressing f2 key and next one the seventh shortcut key we are talking about is the control plus backspace control backspace when you're writing email or uh, somewhere else in web document a uh, control backspace can be used to delete the entire word uh, proceeding to the current cursor position and when you use control shift and arrow keys then it will select the word voice like control shift and right arrow can select the uh, text word by word and if you press control and backspace It'll, it's going to uh, delete the text when you are writing somewhere and it's going to delete text like uh, uh, towards the end I have something here to the place to write mm, custom search where's my uh, Facebook comments somewhere or the mm, comments when you are writing comments or when you are writing on Facebook like it's here if I'm writing here some some sample text and I want to delete uh, the whole word then press control and backspace like control backspace it deletes the whole word that's the shortcut key, the use of the shortcut key control backspace and another control shift escape this this is another very useful shortcut key or the keyboard shortcut like uh, earlier, we used to press Alt, Control, and Del key two times to bring up the Task Manager dialog box. But nowadays, it's much more easier. Uh, rather than uh, pressing Alt, Control, and Del, we can just press Control, Shift, and Escape to bring up the Task Manager. It opens Task Manager directly. This is one way you can open the Task Manager. Or the next one is you can right click on the taskbar and choose Task Manager. In, in 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 any way it opens the same thing okay these were the eight uh, keyboard shortcuts very useful keyboard shortcuts and i hope you are going to use them in your browsing whenever you are browsing internet you are writing something in the comment or you are using facebook these keyboard shortcuts are going to come very handy thank you thank you for watching this video i hope you like and subscribe that will help me and don't forget to subscribe the channel we are going to meet again in another video till then see you bye bye